Early voting starts tomorrow in Duval County. So on your side, Zach Wilcox caught up with the supervisor of elections with everything you'll need to know on this ballot. Zach, tell us uh, what do they have to say? Yeah, Destiny, I talked to the uh, representative there, the spokesperson for the Department of Elections, and he was saying that uh, they're about to go hard. Those are the words he used okay. the next uh, 17 days or so, so two full weeks. He's talking 14 to 17 hour work days, and that's going to be some long runs there, all to make sure that voters have every chance to make their voices heard. Now, the supervisor of elections says his tip for early voters is to head to the polls in the late morning or early afternoon. You probably won't see much of a line at all then. Now they'll take 12 different types of ID, but they do prefer a driver's license. It has a little magnetic strip on it that they can swipe. That takes all the guesswork out of punching in all the little letters. Important to note here, registration did close a few weeks ago on the 11th. So if you registered in the last two weeks, you won't be eligible for this election. Now the supervisor says they're expecting about 60%, so three out of every five voters to either mail in their ballot or vote early. And that's a trend that continues to climb since early voting first opened back in 2004. If we have some kind of issue, we get it fixed, you can vote. If we, if it's election day, it may be another problem. Early voting is preferred, I think, by more and more people. It's, it really has been growing in the last few years, and that's why. Now, the elections office has some new ADA compliant machines where you vote on a screen rather than with that pen in your hand. So each precinct will have at least one on election day. You can always request that. But he says they've had such success with them that they'll have at least five in each early voting site. So if you want to take to the new technology and take that for a spin, early voting may be the way to go. Now, you can see we've got some of the early voting dates here. Duval County starting up tomorrow, and then they will go all the way until the Sunday right before Election Day on November 6th. you got Nassau County on Wednesday, St. John's same time, Clay County on Thursday or Friday, rather. So all coming up here in the next couple of days and just remember you need to you know all you need to vote is to be registered and you got to bring a signed photo id in the studio zach wilcox first coast news on your side